Hey kids, and welcome to Lesson 8, Boolean Expressions and If Statements, number 10. Challenge, it's the weekend. Make an app that tells you whether to stay home or go to school based on what day of the week it is. And unfortunately, I think some of you kids might need that in my class. In this challenge, you will add your own drop-down menu in design mode, add an event handler from the drop-down, Add an event handler for the dropdown. Write an if statement. That's slightly tricky. Do this. In design mode, add a dropdown menu that will fill it with the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're gonna add an event handler for the dropdown that activates on change, not click. We are going to add an if else statement to the event handler that checks which day was selected and if the day that was selected was a weekend, then display a message that says it's the weekend stay home otherwise the day of the week is a weekday and display the message that says it's a weekday go to school your message should be displayed by setting the text of the message label provided in design mode testing once you have something functional make sure you test every day of the week to verify the output is correct the if else statement here is trickier than before. Looks like we have some hints, but we're gonna try it before we go ahead and look. This sounds like a lot of fun. Here's our little clicker here, and that's what we have to make. First thing we need to do is to add this drop down menu. How do we do that? Now that's in our design mode. We have to add our drop down menu. You can see our ID here is just drop down one. That's a pretty good name. No reason really to change it. Moving down, we have our options, and this is where we're going to put our days of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Pretty helpful here, you can expand this box by just grabbing the corner and increasing the size. Down here we have our usual things, our width, height, X and Y positions, and our color. I am not a huge fan of this um, green here, so let's change it to a blue. If we look at this one, this background color is right here. We can take that and move that over here so it looks a little better. Uh, positioning it up, well, let's increase the font here a little. Let's go from a 14 to a 18 so people like me can read. It is centered, everything is good there, don't need a border. Uh, 160 minus 100 is 60, so our X position 60, we're already centered, so that is actually good. Looks like this is all the setup we really need to do in design. Now for the fun part, we get to do our coding. Looking back here, the first thing we need to do is add an event handler. The event handler is going to be triggered by our drop down one. So the idea drop down one. And this isn't going to be on a click, it's going to be on a change. That means if you remember from our last lesson, when we clicked, it just went to the first one, a change, it makes us select it. Next thing we need to do is we need to add our if and else statements right here. And thinking through this, let's think what we have to do. This is gonna be a lot like the previous lessons. First thing we have to do is we have to get the text from this drop down menu. So under our UI controls here, we are going to get the text from drop down, drop down one. And we want to compare this text with something. If this text is equal to or the same as a weekend, we want it to say one thing, a weekday to say another. If we're going to work with a weekend, 
we only really have to use two variables, that's Saturday and Sunday. And because we're doing it to make sure it is exactly it, we cannot do something like Saturday and Sunday, because that is one word there. So we're really gonna have to use two variables here. If our dropdown is equal to Saturday, and we're gonna need some quotes here, we want something to happen. Well, what do we want to happen? We wanna set the text of this right here. This is message label with some sort of text. For the weekday, it is, it's a weekday, go to school for the weekend. It is the weekend, stay home. So under our text, we're gonna say stay home. When they said it's gonna get a little tricky earlier, this is what they meant. Our else statement here is actually going to be another if statement. We're actually going to nest them together. If you think all the way back to the offline activity here when we did all of those, did it crash, didn't it crash, we had those nested statements. Well, all that was doing was preparing you for today. I'm going to drag another if else statement in here, right below the if and else. And this one, I want it to be nearly identical. I am again comparing from the drop down menu. And I am comparing to see though, this time, not Saturday, but Sunday. Watch how you spell things here. I use an uppercase S for each of mine. That means that uh, mine has to be spelled the same way. So just watch your upper and lower case there. I need a uh, parentheses there to end that. And that looks pretty good. Ooh, you know what I forgot to do at the beginning? Was tell it what to do, and that's to get text right there. And in this one, if again, it is selected. So if we select our Sunday, we are going to set that text as well to it's the weekend, stay home. Otherwise, if Saturday or Sunday is not selected, you have to say, it's a weekday, go to school. So we're going to go back here, set text again. Text here is going to be, it's the weekday, and we are doing that MSG label here, message label. Let's just talk through our code again here just to make sure I got everything. All I'm doing right now is just cleaning up. On the event drop down here is changed. We want to get that text and then we want to compare it. First time we're going to compare it to Saturday. If it is Saturday, we're setting the text down here in this box to it's the weekend, stay home. Otherwise, we're going to check again and we're going to see if it's Sunday. If it's Sunday, we get a message, it's the weekend, stay home. Otherwise, we are going to set the text, hey, it's a weekday, go to school. Let's go ahead and try our code here. Let's run it. Tuesday, it's a weekday, go to school. Thursday, it's a weekday, go to school. Here's the hard one, Saturday. Hey, it's the weekend, stay home. Let's try Wednesday, it's a weekday, go to school. Looks like our code is working exactly like it should. Looking back up here, uh, we added our drop down menu. We added an event handler that activates on change. We added an if else statement to the event handler. And we had to nest them because we had Saturday and Sunday is two different conditions. So we had to run our if else statement twice. If we picked Saturday or Sunday, our message says, it's the weekend, yay, yay. If it's a weekday, it says, too bad, go to school. And our message popped up in our label right here. Looks like we did everything code.org wanted. Let's see if they agree. Yay! Good job, kids. This was a tough lesson. I know you did a wonderful job, and I look forward to seeing you on the next unit.